and it looks like it's going to have to be modified straight out of the packet, but what's unusual about that? Okay, ladies and gents, what you are looking at here is a DA32W Suzuki Every Landy front diff. The first thing you'll notice is it doesn't have that little black box on top for the uh, electronic diff lock. Nice. Now let's compare them. Here is a DB52T front differential. Uh, the one that I pulled apart in a previous video. Um, it has the electrical solenoid on the top that activates the gear lock inside the diff and the four-wheel drive switch um, not really much else to say about that um, now up over here we have a DA 32 W diff this is from a uh, Suzuki Every Landy. Okay, these came with a G13B engine with a maximum power of 86 horsepower. That's 63 kilowatts for you playing in Australia at 6,000 RPM. The engine displacement was 1,298 cc's, um, so obviously it wasn't a K car. However, it did have the same body shape as a K car Every, just they extended the nose panels and changed a few little things but the final drive ratio was 4.555 not the horrible six point something that the carry has now through looking at part numbers and things i was able to figure out that this car and the carry use exactly the same front diff mounts so this thing should just bolt straight in and as you can see it doesn't have the selector on top because the landy is full-time full drive um, and as far as i know this is an open diff which is better for me because I don't want the locked front diff um, so obviously it doesn't have the solenoid on top it doesn't have the um, the reverse the reverse the four drive light switch point um, and what else can I say about it um, these are not the same. What are the differences? What are the differences? Well, if we look at the two, can you see the two? You can. All right. So if we look here. Okay, well, that's different. Here we go. This, can you see? Yes, you can. This and this are different diameters. This is bang flush on here. This one's got that spacer on it. So um, that does say something. We have a screw here from the inside that isn't present on the carry truck one. Though I'm feeling confident that the actual spline length will be the same um, and it's just the end this plate that's different I hope anyway I don't want to have to make a custom drive shaft though I would at this point now I'm going to have a look at pulling this thing apart first things first I have to get the mounts off so let's do that Got myself a set of long impact sockets. <coughs> Alright. What do we need here? 14. That's lovely. Let's 
get these out of the way. Move you further over here. There we go. Better use it, penetrating oil. Camera keeps turning off due to temperature. It's freezing out here, and I got the camera in the sun, but it's overheating itself somehow. Fucking Sony. All right, I started taking it apart off camera um, because the camera keeps shutting down due to heat. Figure that out, it's like minus one. Um, looks like the last person that pulled this apart locked tighter them in. Um, hooray. So someone else has worked on it. Now I'm not looking forward to this as much as I was before. How long can I film before it cuts out? One bolt. Jesus. Radio. Combination of rust and Loctite. And have a look at it. Would you just look at it? I'm going to take you off the stand again before you cut out from heat. Um, ugh, horrible shit. It's just Loctite and rust. Mostly Loctite though. Wait, can I even show you what I'm talking about? Look at that. Just shit. Fuck, bro. What are you doing? Filled it full of Loctite. It's like Loctite it on when you've got mounts that are that fucked. Ugh. Yeah, don't get it. Anyway, they're out. Next step, remove the back cover. Okay, so filming outside with a Sony phone is horrible and I don't think I'll ever do this ever again. Um, these bolts come out easy though. Ah, ah. Put them in there. Crack it open on the table. All right, for this I'm gonna use a pry bar and a weighted hammer. Look out, dog. And lots of rags. Wait a minute, I might get a... There we go. Oh, God. Good. Got you undone. Ooh, oil. <laughs> what a mess. Yeah, we're making a mess. All over the table. The goggles, they do nothing. Shit. Should have two Costco containers. One is not cutting it. Put this down here. Move that over there. And get another one. Interesting. The front, the diff seems to be stuck to the rear. Oh, there it goes. I think it stayed on the table. Okay. The fuck. Okay, see how much footage I can get this time before it uh, cuts out.
from heat. Fuck you, Sony. Um, so I'm just going to count the teeth. Put a little white out mark there so that I know which tooth I'm on. And then here we go. So that's number one. One. Forty-one. And this is all the footage I have of this. Here I am recounting the teeth, and I did confirm that it is a 4.555 diff, which is much better than the carry, and it is what I'll be using. I'm missing about uh, 10 pieces of footage. I don't know where they went. They're gone. I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm just going to skip to the next thing that I do actually have. So that is it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video. Later.